when we get into the translation of those glyphs on the wall, some very powerful thoughts are recorded therein. A great deal of those thoughts that are, are recorded are not all against Torah-based teachings. Yeah. You see, we have to get to a point in scholarship where you can appreciate what is true and you could divorce yourself from that which is untrue. But to say you totally unappreciate something is almost rare. There's always something about someone or something that you can find that is good. So whenever you find people that say, oh, throw this whole thing in the garbage, it's usually people that's full of shit, mm -hmm. such as the people who say and throw the Bible in the garbage. <laughs> because those people will then tell you that their master teacher is Dr. Ben, who Dr. Reggie said told his students, whatever you do, don't throw that Bible in the garbage until you have something to replace it. Mm -hmm. Which the underlying thought is, as much as Dr. Ben knew about Kemet, clearly he didn't think that it was enough to replace the Bible because he told his students or enjoined his students not to destroy it until you have something to replace it. Mm -hmm. So with all of his knowledge of Kemet, he should have been able to say, okay, now we can destroy it. But he didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Brother Reggie said almost a full year ago, live on Sonic of the TV, I got the video saved. Dr. Ben told us his students not to throw away the Bible until we have something to replace it. Sarasun Seti, with the general Sarasun Seti, in my teachings, by the elders, we believe that it's wrong to attack any holy book, meaning throw it in the garbage, right? But it is instructive to maybe have criticisms of the book, but not throw the whole, the Torah, the Bible, and the Quran in the garbage. There's a reason why that is for it, right? Because our people are still in there. That is the level of education that they're in. Um, and we have not provided yet something for them completely, completely um, different or um, better uh, for them in at least North America. In Africa, they do have um, African religions, which are alive and well, and they're under those things. So they don't. So they have the Ifa religion. They have the Akan religion. They have other religions. But North America, if I take the Bible, the Quran, and uh, um, and the Torah away from black people, they don't have a standard. Then it's just white justice or what the white system is giving to us until it comes to a time where there's some new education and new teaching coming along, right? So, um, but we still have the right to critique and disagree those books because it, it creates enlightenment. But again, my teachings from Dr. John Henry Clark and Dr. Ben is not to tear down those, Bible, um, those books, but to critique them. Now, the Bible is not less a Bible and not less holy because it is part fiction, part history, and part folklore. It is still a book of inspiration. It is still a book of spirituality. And you can separate one thing from the other and keep it. I didn't say throw it out. I said understand it. I think you can get more out of it by understanding it. The Bible is not less holy because of it, but this is a part of Hebrew myth. And it is a good story to teach faith. Whether it is true or not, it is a good teaching lesson. Why can't we draw the lesson from it and stop worrying about whether it's true? replace it so again for those who are very cognitive who pay attention to thought who are very observant we see something implicit in that statement which is with all of the knowledge that dr ben had clearly it wasn't greater for him to say okay we don't need the bible no more so think about that mm -hmm. and again dr john henry clark said it on video don't throw away the bible he said that although he believes those stories to be just that myths which is the greek term for story Although Dr. Clark believed that the stories in the Bible are just myths, he believed them to be myths based on African tradition. Mm -hmm. So he said once you understand the base of those myths, which he believes came out of African tradition, uh, tradition, you would never want to throw out the Bible because from his opinion, it's still conveying African tradition. Mm -hmm. This is what the average comedic idiot, <laughs> I don't know if you know a better word to say it, just don't understand. Dr. Clark is on record saying 
that he believes the Bible is based on African tradition and that the stories are not necessarily historical because they're coming from the historical traditions in Africa. Nonetheless, once you understand the heart of those traditions in the Bible, you wouldn't want to throw it away because it's African tradition. So whenever I hear people of comedic stock and breaks talking about we don't need the Bible, throw it away, and they also say out the left and right side of their mouth that Dr. Ben Clark is a teacher, it just reminds me of why I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I'm born atomically, Socrates, philosophies, and hypotheses. Can't define how I be dropping these mockeries. Lyrically perform armed robbery, flee with the lottery. Possibly they spotted me. Battle's guard, showgun, explosion when my pen hits. Tremendous, ultraviolet, shine blind forensics.